Hey guys, we just released a brand new update to Gifix, so we're going to be dropping some new tutorials to help you guys get through all the new features. Today we're going to run through some of the basics by adding a GIF and a mask to your workspace. So let's go ahead and open up Gifix. Once you're in the app, go ahead and, you know, obviously look for a photo that you'd like to look, add from your camera roll. I've already got one in mind. Um, walking through the desert. Once you have it, go ahead and press next up here on the top right. Now you should arrive to the crop screen. You can use two fingers to pinch, rotate, resize. So here we go, we'll resize and rotate. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the size of this and just center it, just keep it in the center here. Once you're happy with your crop, you can go ahead and press crop. Now you're actually in the uh, GIF workspace. All the GIFs are down here in the thumbnails below. You can tap on an effect and you'll see it apply to your photo. So you can check around here to see what we like. There's all types of crazy GIFs, inception, style. And I think I'm gonna go with this one. Here we can not see your photo below, so that's a problem. Um, unless you just want the GIF effect, you can do that too. But this bar right here allows you to adjust the opacity. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower the intensity of this effect. You can see all the way down to nothing, all the way back up. And you could choose in between, you know, obviously whatever you feel feels right. So I'm gonna add maybe somewhere like that. And that's great that that tooltip just popped up. Add a mask to the GIF for more possibilities. So let's go ahead and tap on that button there, mask, and we're gonna show you what that's all about. So over here, we can tap on a shape to apply the mask. And now we can also adjust the mask. You can pinch, drag, and rotate to adjust. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'll show you. And I think I'm gonna get it right there. And another cool trick is you can actually invert the mask as well if you touch, uh, tap on the thumbnail down below. So you can see now the mask is on the outside of the circle or it could be on the inside. So outside, inside. And you could do this for any of the masks here that you have. So I've got an idea here that's cool for a little border effect, but I actually want to add a gradient. So I'm going to scroll down here. There's all types of additional mask packs that you guys can explore. I'm going to tap on the one that says gradient. And let's go ahead and add a circle effect here because I want to make it seem like she's walking on the playa here. So maybe this one. And let's lower that effect or let's make it a little bigger. And let's lower the effect a little bit so it feels like it's a little blended. And just like that, now you're walking in another parallel universe. <laughs> um, so once you're done, you can go ahead and tap the top right button to save. Now you can save as a movie or as a GIF. If you save as a movie, you get the option of choosing the length of your movie, 1 to 15 seconds currently. Or if you save as a GIF, it'll just loop infinitely. So I'm going to save it as a movie. And low quality is going to be 480 by 480. High quality is going to be 640 by 640. So I'm going to go switch that over to high. I'm going to save. One important thing while you're saving, do not close the app um, as it does not allow saving in the background. So now once you're on the share screen, you can go ahead and tap share and you can share it to your favorite social media. And that's all there is to it.